Dude, you're a legend in your own mind. Dude, dude Marshall's almost vertical. Mike, how many times a week does he organize that little closet of his? It's unbelievable. Mark, are you on meth? You seem like a trailer meth guy, that one of the bigger guys that doesn't lose weight on meth. No, oh, okay. <laughs> like a frosted donut, but it's meth. Wow. Chewable meth, de detachable penis. I need to stretch a little bit before we get this started. Oh. <laughs> meth make, make, has the opposite effect on Mark. It makes him hungry and raid the fridge. What does that say? Audio, Brian? What do you mean, audio? Voodoo? No, it's not echoing. That never happens. Am I the only one hearing Brian? Is, did it happen on STs? Really? Oh, if that's the case, I'm out of here. All right, guys. So we're going to try to figure this out. What do you mean go to the main screen? Hey guys, I'm working on fixing the problem here. Can you guys hear us right now? Mark, talk. Mike, talk. Chris Vape said all that topside money. This this is the audio we get. All right. Nope. Nope. Only here TFC. Yes. Yes. Hold on. I'm opening audio settings.
I think they're fucking with me. That's what I think. Yep. My my microphone. Yep. Uh, default speakers. I didn't. I didn't touch anything. I do the same thing every week. Yep. Hold on. Try that now. Hold on. Talk. Talk now. Okay. So, Mark. Mark, go ahead. Go ahead, Mike. I, I understand, guys. I understand that you guys can't hear me. I appreciate it. Or you can hear me, but not Mike and Mark. We're trying to work on it. I know. I'm checking all my settings right now. Something unplugged. No, everything's plugged in. Audio's plugged in. Video's plugged in. Still very low. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're going <laughs> to... Uh, let me check. So this is what we're going to do, guys. Um, if this doesn't work, I'm going to actually speak on behalf of them and tell you everything they're thinking and feeling. So that's what we're going to do. They're going to move their mouth. All right, let's see. Let's go to audio road. That's fine. That's fine. Audio settings, input level, output level. Everything looks fine on my end. Uh, for the microphone? My Rode microphone? Yeah. That's the problem. Can you hear us now? Yeah, Testing one, two. Hello, can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? <laughs> <laughs> can you guys hear that now? Are we good? Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I think it's good now. There's a delay. We'll see. We got a delay. We got a delay. I have no clue. We're waiting to see. Yeah. Yes? They can hear you now? Yes. If if Mike's audible and Mark is <laughs> and Mark, good, and Mark is soft, that's actually a good thing. So you know, I'm so I'm getting so tired of fixing shows for people. I'm here, gonna start charging. Here, you know what? I'm gonna start doing. You're fucking muted. There you go. How mute about him. that? He's fucking muted. No time I, wasted. To tell you the truth, we did, we're not gonna do the 20 minute intro. So it's like yeah, perfect, <sighs> right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let Dude, just, I'm tired of fixing stuff. Let me just switch this real quick. Uh, tonight's show, all donations will be going to my PayPal account for fixing the show. Thank you. All right. Ignition. <laughs> I can't do it like this. I got to do a 20-minute intro. I have to. And we, I don't accept donations lower than $50. Here we go. You don't insult me with your $5 or $2. Thanks for hanging in there, everybody. Really appreciate it. You can also Thank you. submit photos of your girlfriends or Th your wives. Thanks, no thanks, Mark. Mark, you're muted. I'm not muted. Get out of here! I appreciate everybody in chat trying to help too. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. You guys were no help at all. I'm the one. I'm the brains behind the operation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here to save the day. Just call me Mark the Technician. Thanks, Mark. Good. Yep, exactly, Harry. Mark's camera is good. My camera is straight as shit. Ignition!
We are live, 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 live. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Vape Team, the motherfucking great team, Cloudy Entertainment, for that ass. Yeah, it's Thursday. We have an episode of 237, and it's a time for love. It's time for forgiveness, for passion, for fucking, yeah, 237. It's time for Brian to learn how to use XSplit. Yep. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Uh, with me, as always, the man with the master plan, the king of clouds, the Greek god of modern vaping, the matchstick man, Mr. Matchy Matchy, the cloud king, the cloud commander, the Greek god of modern vaping, Mikey motherfucking vapes. <laughs> Good evening, Greg, Sid, Chat, Steve, Adrian. Before we, get in, before we get in with our special guest's introduction, we have a donation for four ninety nine oh, for dollars Steven, from Stephen Eagles. He said, thanks, Mark. And Colt Fontenot. Thank you, uh, Fontenot. He's probably from Louisiana. Yep. Colt Fontenot. You Towards the vlog kid. lessons for Mark. There you go. Yeah, nice. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I could do with $2. We also have a very special guest tonight. He's probably the most special guest on any live show you're ever going to watch, ever. He is so damn special. He puts the S on the shirt. He is Vapen Fagan. Call me Mark the Technician. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's kick this off a little bit of buffet. Yeah. How about that, Mark? Mike, Mark, Mark? Hey, who is it? What do you think? Does that mean here? I'm supposed to? Oh, okay. Here we yeah, go. we've only done the show 237 times, so I think you know what's here up. Here we go. Best single coil RTA ever made on the planet Earth. The GT4. Here we oh. go. I have to interrupt. Yeah. Mark is, does uh, this every time. So anybody watching the vape team, I just want to save your pocketbook money. I'm not saying it's not the best. All I'm saying is when Mark invests money out of his pocket, he always says that the expensive stuff is the best thing ever made. Then people go out and buy it, and then he puts it on the shelf a week later. Am I right, Mike? Yep. This is not All like the time, the Uh the Speaking of the Katua, he was like ranting and raving, this is the best. Then a week later, this thing is a piece of shit. First of all, that was ST. And uh, while we're on the topic of the Skatua, that won't focus. There we go. Uh, shout out to what's his name? His name is real quick Rocky Marks. Rocky. Uh, I'm selling this to Rocky. Just to let you guys know. So if he doesn't get it, you can come. Uh, uh, I don't know if Rocky is watching. Do not trust this guy at all. <laughs> all sales he ever happens, he never sends out the products. Nope. Just letting you know, Rocky. Be careful, this guy. Whatever you, especially Scammer. unless you're giving it to him in person. He'll meet you at the donut shop down the street. Unless you meet him in person, don't ever PayPal him money. Yep. Uh, Rocky, for an extra hundred, I could sign this right here. <laughs> yeah. Don't even bother. He'll <laughs> never get it anyway. And by the time it gets to you, the crayon will be off the side. So, Anywho, we got the, uh, whatchamacallit, mm -hmm. uh, Hexone. There we go. I don't know what version three I think it is. It's been a while. We got the Minikin with the RDA not made for vaping. Which I was going to buy a second one today. I'm waiting for a coupon code. What else do we got? What do you got? We got, uh, do I got this? Yes, I got this in the VT4. The Peach that? You didn't even show us what it was. You know that, right? The Pistache. Label was facing you, Mark. Yep. He doesn't and it care. was Pistache. And we got some of that Marshmallow the One in the uh, RDA Not Made for Vaping. We got a pod system that I can't show, even though it's all over the internet. There it is right there. And that's it. Oh, we so do got. Uh, we got a trilogy waiting to be rewicked on top of the clutch. Here we that, go. That looks sexy with the red with the black. Like that gap. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that from the clutch? No, it's not screwed down. Yeah. So uh, DB Squonks, I'm a little confused. He says, Vape and Fagan, the GT3 is better than the GT3. Yep. Wow. That makes sense. What about the GT3, though? <laughs> I have no clue what he meant. Maybe he's trying to say... One is better than the four. The three is better than the four. Yeah, that's what he said. GT3 oh, is better okay. than the Oh, okay. He wrote it again. Damn phone. Okay. Does anyone got a GT3 they want to trade? He must have a Samsung. I bet you it's a Samsung. Yeah. Droids. Yep. I'll bet anything he's got a fucking Apple phone. I don't think so. I think it's a, sham a Samsung. I'll bet anything on it. I'll yep. bet you're wrong. Did you guys know that when you have an iPhone and you get a new phone, all you have to do is like hit one button and everything transfers? Like <clears throat> you don't have to enter passcodes. You don't have to enter Here we go. anything you like that. You just touch them together. Everything transfers your passwords, your co every, everything you could possibly want. Mike explained to us that with Samsung, none of that happens. Because nope. because it's protected. It's just protected. Yeah, <laughs> protected. What if someone's trying to fucking uh, clone your phone? <laughs> you have protection on our shit. 
So, chillax on that one. All righty. Uh, let's, Mike, Mark, can you do me a favor? Yep. Can you introduce me every week on the show? Because I don't get an introduction. I want you to introduce me. Um, I want a full, thorough introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, the richest man in vaping, <laughs> Brian, the Vapor Chronicles. Is that Thank good? You. Yeah, I guess I'll do. <laughs> I'll do that. Uh, yeah, a little golf <laughs> clap. Thank you. All right, what am I vaping on tonight? I got uh, yeah, the Monet. There we go, right there, baby. This is a little carbon, and this is a little uh, profile 1.5 custom that matches perfectly with this. Love it. Um, is this is this matchy matchy approved or no, Mike? No. You, the little specs match. They they do. Oh, it's green. <laughs> yeah. See. How is that being green with the green screen? Uh, it, it's like a blue. I don't know. It shows up. Wait a minute. So that's a blue RDA. It's kind of like a like an aqua. Dude, it shows up green. That's maybe that's the answer to my green screen. Or maybe it's just I don't know. All right, anyway. this is green, and that's sort of disappearing a little bit. Maybe there you go. Oh, <laughs> hold on, dude. Why don't you get rid of the green screen and put up an American flag? <laughs> that's yep. maybe what I should do, Mark. <laughs> uh, so I got unsalted. This is a brand new line from Dimitri Vaping Greek, from P. Bissardo, from Dash Vapes, and also from Suck My Mod called Unsalted. This is watermelon peach right there that you can't see. So if you want to see it, this is what it looks like. There you go, unsalted. Boom. We're going to be talking about that probably next week on the show, I think. Um, I also have this little fella right here. This is the Aspire NXT. And in that, I have this delicious Boston Cream from Hit That. There you go, Boston Cream. This is high milligram 18 right here, mouth to lung, as you can see from the MTL on the side. I still haven't figured it. There you go. <clears throat> hey, pal, just came in, Brian. Thank you. you very much, Mike. You're welcome. Uh, I also have this which is a clutch with an RDA for vaping and some Boulet Bolu, one-on-one, -on -one perfect combination right there. And I got some pistache with the what, – Mark, what are you doing? I was doing a – go ahead, continue. You're it... uh, take it away, Mike. <laughs> Thank you. What am I doing? Thank it's you very scary. much. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead, Mike. See if you can get through this with him doing whatever the fuck he's doing. It didn't work. Wow. The Skyline is better than a GT3 or the GT4. He's talking about All right. The... Where can I get a Skyline from? I'll buy one. Nissan Skyline? But who cares about those? The best RTA in the world is right here. The Intake Woo! Duel on the Boxer Classic. With the best e-liquid in the world, Raspberry Custard. Uh, clutch. Blue Black Clutch Rebirth with uh, Taffy Splash, Blue Raz, Drop RDA on the Green Black Clutch, Drop. and uh, what's in here? Oh, Strawberry Donut is in that. Some Strawberry Donut. I'm vaping on this that I'm not supposed to show. <laughs> From Geek Vape. <laughs> Cocoa Pod. Same shit. Same shit every single week. It's like TVC's buffet. Oh, there's nothing coming in. I, I don't think we're going to get products sent in for at least a month. So I'm looking to buy some products to do videos on. What do you guys recommend? Well, we were talking before the show, and I think we're going to do like little reviews on the vape team because there's not going to be any vape products coming out. So we're going to do, like, Mike's got this new uh, vacuum, like a portable vacuum for his desk. We're going to take a look at that up close. There it is right there. Uh, we're also going to do a headphone review. Mark's got a new sex toy coming in the mail, so we're going to look at that. Uh, by the way, since it's Valentine's Day, it's a day for lovers, we're going to do a little game night tonight. A little game night. Oh, gay night. Yep. Gay night? A little gay right. night. What do you do for gay night? Uh, you're going to find out. Hmm. You're going to lead the whole thing. Feeling kind of gay. I bet you are. Happy that is. Uh, um, I appreciate everybody hanging in there during the uh, intro to the show. Wow, I don't know how that happened. And I'll I, just fucking get to it already. I, 
I don't know how that happened, and I don't know how I'm kind of uncomfortable with the fact that Mark fixed the problem. Because Brian's always fucking with shit. He doesn't know what he's doing half the time. Oh, I'm the one that fucks with shit. Okay. Here we go. Oh, my God. I know the intake tool is 26. The sites won't tell me what size Addy's fit. 26. On the clutch? 26. He didn't say clutch. Oh. Uh, All I can say is... Yes, my heat is back. Thank you, Bob Shork. It's beautiful. It's nice and warm in my house again. I had no heat for a week. Thank you. Thank Mike, you, can, you much. can you come down to South Jersey and put in a water heater? Yes. Thank you. Take all the vape gear you guys own, throw it in the garbage, and just go out and buy one of these, and you're set. You don't need anything else. Hell yeah. So what's up with Valentine's Day? Are you guys big Valentine's Day peeps? I know Mike's not. That's for... Uh... Valentine's is for boyfriend and girlfriend. That's for the single people, man. Yeah. It's the one time of the year I can actually get a blowjob without having to pay for it. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Uh, so if you got- Buddha says Buddha says to get the OG recoil. I already did a review from that when it first came out. Let's see. Skyfall and Skyline Axial Pro. Hmm. So real quick, if you guys want to see an uncomfortable Valentine's Day gift giving session, uh, the overly long vlog from Vape and Fagan from this week. What is, is is that a level? Yes. Okay, so go hold that up to your fucking. Yeah. All right, I think I I am a little crooked actually. You are. So this would be straight. I didn't, I'm not meaning to cut you off. Go ahead and keep talking. I'm just showing. Yeah. I, I was just saying that if you guys want to see an uncomfortable gift giving. So Angela, all she wanted for Valentine's Day was this. What's the guy's name? Uh, Jeffrey Star. Jeffrey Star, who's like some YouTube guy that does makeup reviews or whatever, makes makeup. And I guess he's involved in a company that sells makeup with his name on it. His company. Um, <clears throat> his company. Uh Mark bought Angela that for Valentine's Day, and she, the, it, it's one of those like gift boxes that you don't know what's inside. You, there's a waiting list, and you have to like get in early, and they have a limited supply of them. So she gets this gift. She gets it on the list. She's super excited. It's hundred and fifty dollars for this box of makeup, right? This is her moment in the vlog. It's toward the end of the vlog. If you don't want to put up with like forty five minutes before it, <laughs> Mark stands there. And just talk shit about her Valentine's Day gift <laughs> for like fucking 10 minutes. It is, it is some of the best 10 minutes I've ever seen for Valentine's Day. Great job, Mark. Thank you. Uh, yeah. We're going to a very fancy place tomorrow for dinner. Where's that? I can't say, but it will be in the vlog. Okay. Nice. Little romantic getaway with the, the lady. Yep. Mm. What uh, la, la. No intake tools. No black. In stock, uh, Marcio. They won't be back in stock until maybe a, in a month. Remember, China, coronavirus, no manufacturing going on, sold out everywhere. Same thing with the clutch. I know people were asking. Blue clutch are sold out worldwide. So it's going to be a while. I already said it. I said on a previous member of the vape team. It was last week and the week before. We've been so saying it for sure like a month. If you want almost. one, get it because you're going to wait a long time after. Get yeah. it. I wasn't hyping it up. I was just being blunt. There were messages talking shit saying that we were trying to hype it, and it was totally not hype. It was true. Yeah, I knew we they were, were going to be hype, sold it's out. It's already it's a hype. It's fucking the shit. Yep. On the hype, we're on the hype train. All so, the boards. There's a bunch of videos up on on it from reviewers. So check them out. For those that have been following the show, we've been on this health challenge for the past four weeks. Tonight marks the four weeks since we started, and. Um, I want to give a little quick update. I weighed myself today, and I know we're not going to do the final weigh-in until March 1st, but I just want to say I'm a little let down. I've lost 12 pounds so far. I'm stuck at 10 pounds. I've lost 12 pounds, and I know why I've lost 12 pounds. The first two weeks when I did the 48-hour fast, and then I was pretty strict with what I was what I was uh, eating. Hold on one sec. JJ for FSU. Good evening, everyone, and hey, Mark, I guess. Had an issue with the RDA for vaping and and slicing into the lower O-ring, I guess, when putting the cap back on. Anyone else have this problem? Only had it for three days. I mean, sometimes, you know, if, if it's a little sharp on the bottom, 
you might you might cut an o-ring if you put it on at an angle but there should be extra o-rings in your kit right like always lube know. your shit uh, lube yeah, it. when i drip on mine i just remove the uh the top i never remove the barrel or i'm retarded never mind i forgot you gotta unscrew this one wow i use it every day and i forgot to unscrew it i unscrew mine when i go to tri- drip I don't know if you pop your cap off, but I haven't. Why don't you just trip through the trip tip? Yeah, I know, but I haven't had a problem with that. I would say if you do have a problem, remove one of the O rings. Every dripper I use, I just right from the top. Is there two on there? Right to the drip tip. Yeah, there's two. Remove the uh, the bottom O ring and just run one. Make sure you lube it up with juice. Rip. So, um,. So the reason why I think I've only lost the 12 pounds, which, by the way, I'm happy with 12, but I don't want to see in a week from now, two weeks from now, three weeks from now that I just stay at the 12 pounds. I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm doing keto, right? So I have these keto strips and I measure my ketones in my blood. And I noticed like the first week I was at like 1.2, 1.4. I was pretty in a decent level of ketosis. And then the problem is as soon as I go into a caloric deficit, my body screams out and says, you're not comfortable. And I love that satiated feeling where you're full. And I don't care if you're eating keto, if you're eating low carbs, if you're eating vegan, no matter what the fuck you're eating, if you eat more calories than what you're burning, you're not going to lose weight. You're going to gain weight. So for me, uh, I was eating too much you know, cheese the last time I did keto, but this time it's been, you know, even if you eat celery and you dip it in some sort of like a, a blue cheese or like some sort of a Caesar dressing or e- even oil and vinegar, if you eat too much of the food, you're going to put on weight or not lose enough weight. So that's what's been happening. Oh. I've been overeating again, even though it's decent food for me. So yeah, same here. I think that's why uh, I, uh, today I had one meal this afternoon and I'm not eating nothing the rest of the day. Just eating one meal now, cutting it down. Yep. So I weighed myself this morning. I'm like, damn, I'm still <clears throat> sitting at fucking only uh, lost 10 pounds. Yeah. In a week, you know, I didn't lose no weight. Yep. I don't know. But anyway, whatever. But I want to make sure, like, this is not a crash diet to lose weight so I can look good at the beach or that I want to be healthier. So I'm cool with monitoring my weight. I'm cool with light exercise. I'm cool with, you know, just trying to find balance and get in well, good shape. For me, it's I'm gonna start wearing uh, tank tops. My reviews and flexing. Of course, you are. <laughs> yeah. Now you guys are not doing any exercising, right? You're just doing like a diet thing. So far, it's been diet, but I I, I think I'm gonna need to, to start busting my ass and exercise. And I've become such a bitch. I used to be so fucking hard when I was younger, and I used to be able to do shit that made me uncomfortable. The older I've gotten, I've gotten lazy, complacent, and I just don't have the fire that I had. I need to get that fire back. Yep. You know. I used to love doing sprints and lifting weights and all kinds of stuff. And I just, for some reason, now when I do it, my whole body cries out and says, no. So, all right, Mark, uh, everyone in chat wants to know how much have you gained? I don't use the trilogy on the clutch. I just have it sitting on there until I rewick it. So I'm using the clutch as like an atomizer stand at the moment. So don't be confused. Oh, and uh, update. That's probably going to be in the garbage soon. Anyway, Uh, the intake duel. He said, yeah, I have it. He can't find it. He it's threw up, in the garbage. I have about, you want to see all the atomizers I have up here? I have like 30, 40 atomizers, and I don't even know what the intake duel looks like anymore. I do have it, though. He doesn't know what it looks like. I show it all the time in the buffets. I'm putting it up to the camera. Do you think I pay attention to? Exactly. I focus on the viewers. Mm. So I'm in chat taking care of them. You're in chat trying to get a date. Yep, <clears throat> that too. I lost four inches doing nothing but getting fat. That is true. You get fat, you lose yeah. inches. Uh, you Stephen get- Eagles, dollar ninety nine said nobody likes discipline until they see results. It's so true. I know Stephen. Everyone's also saying that I need to get my testosterone checked. Low T. Maybe you just need to get off your ass and do some exercise. Just Dude, coming from you? Alone. Okay, now, I got it. Ex- alone, you're not going to lose weight. Mark, let me ask you something. So it snowed. In the state of Chicago, or in, in Illinois, right? Yep. Did you shovel your snow today? Nope. Who did? Uh, I was waiting for some random crackhead to come so I can mm-hmm. pay him, but uh, it's just too late now. It's all iced up. So the snow's just out there, all iced up. And why didn't you shovel? Uh, I couldn't find the shovel. 
Uh, that's a lie. I why, guarantee it. Why didn't I, you shovel? I send Marcus out to the shed to find the shovel, and he says I can't find it. So therefore, I don't have <laughs> shovel now. I gotta go buy one, dude. I first of all, I know I don't have low T because I have a <gasps> sex drive of like a fucking fifteen year old. Okay, Whoa. I have no problem with any kind of activity when it comes to that. So, okay, uh, Dane, I don't. Okay, so <laughs> the only two RTAs that I've held up during this whole buffet is the trilogy. And then the GT4, which you cannot use on the clutch. It's not hybrid safe. So it had to be one of the two, the Trilogy or the or the Typhon GT4. Alrighty then. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's talk about vape stuff, shall we? Yeah. Uh, Dude, these shows for the next month are going to be so weird. We can give uh, updates. So, update. Yeah. Uh, in, uh, what's today? Today's 13th? I think in four days, I think Monday, Monday, I guess the factory workers are going back to work. Yeah. So I think person manufacturing, I guess, is going to start up again on Monday. Yeah. But uh, but like normally, saying, how many ahead. people are actually going to show up to work? People are going to be afraid to go to work. And normally, yeah. for those that don't know, during Chinese New Year, like everybody heads back to where they come from, which is usually like long distances away from the hub in Shenzhen. So what happens every single year, even without the coronavirus, they lose like a third of their workforce that don't come back to the job. So they have to retrain all these new people every single year. So everything is always slowed up and backed up for like a month, uh, usually a month after Chinese New Year. This time, I'm giving it a month to two months, maybe a month and a half to two months before things start flowing again. Do you think that's think, well, you think that's true? For Geek Vape, they said their next product is going to be like end of March. Yep. Hey. So. See? Uh, it's going to be a it's going to be a long time till we see uh vape products. Maybe we should get a camper. I'll drive up to New York, pick up Mike, then we'll drive to Chicago and pick up Mark and then we'll do like a tour for like a month. Dude, that would be the best. That would be the funnest thing in the world. Let's do it. I would have a blast. We'll take the vape team show on the road, and then we'll just go live every single night, seven days a week. We could do the show every Thursday from a different state in a different vape shop. Yeah, and we'll have people that watch the show. Like, we'll take polls about who the most people and where they're from, and then we'll meet up with people at the different places. Imagine all the groupies that'd probably be following me. Woo! Yeah. Be endless. Yeah. Uh, uh, no update, Ubik. <laughs> they can't be there. Coronavirus. Corona. Mm, boom, uh, yeah. boom. Any other things? Oh, everything else has been pretty quiet, right? Yeah, yep. I mean, we haven't really had much coming in. There hasn't been much. I mean, the biggest thing that's come out in the past two weeks has been the clutch, and that's sold out. Uh, Mark's so vlog, how, for those that haven't seen it, that came out on Monday or Tuesday. So, how does that work when the clutches are sold out? Like, how many months till they start getting them back in? Is it months or weeks or you don't know? What's that? I'm sorry. I was reading something. When the clutch, is it almost sold out everywhere or no? Yeah, there's only black available. I have black right now on the site. Do you know how long the wait is till they get start getting stock? We just said it, like two months. Two By the time they're manufacturing, a month, two months. It all depends. We don't know. Uh, God, I was... Oh, uh, happy hippie. I've seen your comment uh, 43 times about the Skila rta update there will be no update there will be no video for the skila from uh what do they call it again vicious hands there is no review for that i do have it it's here it's still in the box but uh send it not, to me i'll review it i'm not reviewing no you're not there you go great job Mark. if you want one go buy one yeah go buy one with your other 140 yep. dollar worthless piece of shit i got 300 dollars in stuff sitting in a cart at ev cigarettes right now waiting to press the button yep must I got be nice to, do... to have all that money with all these yeah. people that are struggling out there without a job, Mark. Dude, uh, I, I was looking for coupons when I went to the supermarket. I couldn't afford to get yeah. coupons. Everybody's struggling, but Mark's buying fucking $150 well, wait a minute. Hold RTAs. On. I didn't finish the story. I didn't buy it yet because I'm waiting to find a coupon code. Uh, I see. I got the new Odin in there with the Dove Poach chip. I got another trilogy. I got another RDA for vaping. <clears throughs> I got some juice. Steven Eagle is $4.99. Let's do a massive Zoom Room workout. Dude, I can't deal with a full Zoom room with a bunch of people talking. Imagine a bunch of people working out with their microphones far away from them. I don't know how that would work. But thanks for the recommendation, Stephen. Are you going to lead the group, Stephen? 
Yeah, that's what we should probably do. We should probably do like maybe next Thursday. We'll do retro vape night, where we'll go all retro, and we'll talk about all the retro devices. What do you think? I know we've done that before, but it's been like a year and a half, probably. Yeah. What do you think? Next Thursday, we retro get night. Really at retro, like the oldest shit we own. All right. We should, right? Let's do it. We'll do a retro two weeks. We'll do next week and the week after. And we'll even wick up and put coils in old RTAs, like the the early, early RTAs. I got an idea. Do you guys still have the original goon? Yeah. Yep. Let's let's do the goon next week. Revisiting okay. revisiting the goon on the vape team. All right. Let's do it. And goon. we'll vape it and see how it what our thoughts are now. You know, from back then. The back then we were obviously we lo- Let's not talk about it now, but that's what we're going to do. There you go. Perfect. Uh, we got a $20 Danish kroner from Thomas M. He said, got my new clutch. Uh, got my new clutch has sets rebirth RDA to Denmark. What up? Oh, uh, man. We also got a message from Big B. Big B Jones. What's up? He said $2. Big Thank balls? you very much, Big B. Or big ball, like one big ball. I'm using the goon now, says Rick. Y'all could do period correct with just round wire and silica wicks. That would be interesting. Oh, maybe I'll do a like a should I do it? Do a 24 gauge parallel build. Ah, oh, I love 24 gauge. I like 22 gauge parallel builds. That's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be super low. Yeah. I don't know about silica wick. That shit's nasty. Yeah, let's do let's do old school builds. Old school RTAs and RDAs next week on the show. No. Yeah. You know what you're going to notice as soon as you pick up one of those older mods? Delay. I they fucking... Out. Dude, the response mm-hmm. time on those old mods is so slow compared to the new shit. Yep. My favorite ghost RDA. I, I think you're out. the only one that ever had that. Yep. Thing. Dude, no, we talked a- about that for like a year. There's a lot of there's they have a group. I don't know if they still have it, but there's a lot of people that bought these things. No, I mean reviewer wise, I've never seen. Oh any yeah. Video on that. Yeah, I don't think there's many reviews on it. Still got all of them. Uh, real quick before I forget, happy birthday to Spring Vapor Girl. Happy birthday to uh, you. Od, Od Rip Rip. No offense, but the like the clutch hybrid mech, you got to have some experience <clears throat> with mech mods, man. It shouldn't be for like people that don't have experience. I don't think that question makes no sense. There's a good one, the Limo RTA. That's a classic. Yeah, that is one. Yeah. The Limo. You should all use the vape team mods. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Next week we'll use our RDAs and RTAs on the vape team mod. You gonna so, grab yours, Mark? I was digging around in my garbage can and I look yeah. at Mark's little shorts. Look at you, fancy boy. You want to see more? I do. All all of Mark's stuff's in the garbage. He don't even have the goon problem. No, I got my nope. I got the goon. I got my vape team mod. I got the squonk mod that you guys never use. You hear what he just said? He has the vape team mod. The squonker. <clears throat> vape team squonk mod? Yeah, don't you remember we got it? From the from uh from the SX. Oh the yeah. that one. Yeah. My goon's up here. I just remember seeing it yesterday. The By billow. the way, uh, the billow would be a good one, right? The the original the OG billow. Um, real quick, I just want to say, if anybody's typing stuff in chat and we miss it, I apologize. We're paying attention to chat and we're paying attention to the show. So if we miss something, we'll try to keep up. Usually if Brian doesn't answer your question, it's because he really doesn't want to. Thanks, Mark. You know. You're always the best for calling me out. Putting it out there. Yep. Uh, real quick, uh, check out Amy Relish on the Grand, uh, Amy underscore Relish. And you can also check out Hit That Juice for all your vaping needs. Use code Amy Relish 10 and you can pick up some Hit That Boston cream, which is fucking amazing in the mouth to lung. Yes, Yankee, Yankee, exactly. The lava box DNA with the goon. There you go. That's a good one. I have my old school, my old DNA still. A few of them, I kept a few. With the lipos, they still charge. The lava box? Occasionally, I go up to, I'll go over to the shelf. I look at all my lipos, make sure they got a charge in them, charge them. Last thing you want to do is let it deplete. Yeah, I think I might have let mine deplete, Mike. I have mine in a box. 
I'll take care of your shit. I'll take I care of my shit. That's the, I have anxiety at night when I'm in bed sometimes because I know, like, I have this feeling that I forgot a battery in a mod somewhere that I put in a box or, like, there's a lipo in a, in a mod somewhere and there's mm-hmm. going to be a fire in my house. I have that w- weird anxious fear. Did anybody else ever feel that? Yep. I try or, to avoid thinking about that. Or else I I'll can't. never sleep. I can't help but think about it. I feel like there's just going to be a flare-up somewhere. Then and I'll become sudden... like a mark, and I'll just throw shit away. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Think about these nuts on your chin. All right, guys. Tonight's game night. Game? Um, it's game night. Oh, game. All We're right. going to try this, and this could be a complete fucking disaster, or it could be kind of fun. Uh, mark and I both have boots. And mine's going to be full in about a minute. And... Uh, Mark's I, got orange, all, I got orange Kool-Aid in mine. Mark's is already full. So this is the deal with the game tonight. Uh, basically, we're going to be playing Pictionary, okay? And both Brian and Mark, we're going to take turns drawing pictures for Mike to guess. We have three each, one noun, one verb, and one song. For each picture Mike guesses, the artist will receive one point. The loser of the game will need to chug one boot in order to be the loser. All right? And I will say that these things that we have to draw are going to be impossible to draw. I'm going to do the hard, a hard one first. Um, Amy set me up, just so you guys know. Okay. I'm going to do the hard one first. So do you think, can we get more than one minute? One minute doesn't seem like enough. Well, you might want to make sure first, before you get too excited, that the whiteboard is going to show up for them. Okay, so let me share this real quick. Because if they can't see it, it ain't going to work. Can you guys see this? Can everybody see it's a big white board? Can everybody see this? I want you to touch me on my butthole. Go ahead and stick your finger in. (laughs) Can everybody see this? Go three knuckles deep. There's a little bit of delay, so I'm going to finish my coffee. Give it a second. Yep. I'm seeing a black screen on the vape team. On the feed. Nope. Nope, nope, and nope. So you don't see it? Nope. nope. Alrighty then. Oh, that was game night, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed it. There you go. Thanks, There's... Amy. Thanks, Amy. All right, let's get back to our conversation. <laughs> so, <laughs> there is no game night tonight. No game night tonight. Um, now, what Amy should have done is she should have told us to get like three pieces of whatever they're called, the construction big whiteboard. Okay, then, you know what? Let's do this real quick. we can do quick. full screen and we can have a marker and we can draw it. So why don't we do this? Why don't we grab a white piece of paper right now, right? And you can draw it on the white piece of paper and then show Mike and see if he can guess it. Uh, I don't know why we didn't do that originally. I know. Yeah, I don't know why we didn't either. Weren't you guys supposed to test to see if it actually... We did test it, but it was... uh, Oh, where? In Zoom? Yes. No, you got to do it on YouTube, not on Zoom. (laughs) Serious? I thought you went and did it like a test on uh, YouTube. No, I didn't test on YouTube. Oh, we probably no, should I, have. I wish I'd known that. Tonight's a clusterfuck, you. folks. I apologize. It's just the audio is messed up. The game night's messed up. We're not going to have gay night. Yep. Uh, Amy's no going to be pissed night. that her, her game night's not going to turn out the way that it should have. Dude, instead of game night, let's do gay night. We'll just take our pants off. I'm ready. Look at Mark. All right. See, Mark's prepared. All right, Mark's prepared. I'm prepared. Let's do it. All right. So what are we doing here? I don't even know what the hell we're doing. To tell you the truth. Okay. So, I'm, Mark's gonna set a timer on his phone or somewhere, and I have sixty seconds to draw a picture, and you have to guess what the picture is. Okay. All right. Let's do it. So, Mark, there you go. Uh, tell me when. Tell me when to go. So this is a noun. All right. And what is a noun? Just for people out there that don't know. An, you need to know what a noun is. A noun is a person, place, thing, or idea. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I prefer gay night, but we'll do game night this week. So here we go. So let me... Let me know when you're ready. All right. uh, Three, two... You get one minute to draw it, right? Yeah, one minute to draw it. Give me a rundown when we get to 30 seconds. Wait, how are we doing this? So after a minute, you're going to show it? I'm going to show it the whole time. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. But tell tell me when I have 10 seconds left so I know. All right. Get set. Go. Rush, rush, hurry, hurry, love. Uh, Easdell, I'm not drinking tonight. Well, I have coffee. Uh, I don't smoke. I'm a vapor. 
So I don't know what you're talking about, like glassy eyed over there. You're no. 20 seconds in. No. You got 35 actually remaining. Alrighty. It's a tire, nobody vape says. 30 seconds. All right, Mike. Uh, Mark's wedding. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Well, I just said Mark's wedding. Okay, keep going. Uh, 15 seconds. There's, there's, there's a circle around all the men. Yes, exactly. 10 seconds. And what are they called? Circle men. Five. Grooms. Four. Yep, grooms, there you three. go. I got a point. It's a groom. Groom. Woohoo! Look at I that shit, is, Mark. Just to let you I know, know the, groom, the groom is only one person. Oh, okay. Well, that's that should have been actually bridal party. Okay. okay. Well, sh if I would have circled just him, would it? Would it, I mean? That would have been yeah, the groom. You yeah. got it. But I got it. I said groom. Anyways. Dude, that was fucking good, Mike Vapes. There you go. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Look at my timer. Oh, you're, not, you're not writing yet, are you? My marker's drying out. What the? Oh, fuck? here we go. Hold on. Is it empty? I wish I had a marker. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. I've been smoking that devil lettuce, baby. I'll try to make it work. All right. You ready? <laughs> yep. All right. Three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Wait, what is... Um, shit. Mark, is, what Mark is it? Mark never did his? He's doing it right now. So for 60 seconds, what was he doing? Just staring? No, no, no. He has to do it separate from me. Oh. He's drawing his own picture with his own. Is it a, is it a noun ver or a verb, Mark? Noun. What is it? A noun? A noun. No. 30 seconds down. Uh, Christmas trees with a heart. A uh, ghost. Do we talk? Valentine's no. Day hearts. Uh, 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 no. There you go. There you go. Valentine's Day. Happy you, Valentine's you Day. You have 50 seconds. Happy Valentine's you Day. You have... It's a person. Five. You can't say that. It's a person. Three, it's fucking, two, I don't know. one. It's boom, Fuck done. Megan. It's Cupid. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Cupid... What Cupid? You should have done the arrow. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, the... Dude, she gave me the hard ones. This, I, uh, why do I get the hard ones? All right. So next up, Mike, I'm up, and you ready? Go. Do <laughs> the Abominable Snowman. <laughs> Christmas Walrus. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Cupid looks like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Cupid is, uh, drawing is in one of my specialties. <laughs> so true. I was like, all right, it's a Christmas tree person. <laughs> oh, they're supposed to be wings with hearts. All right. <sighs> Why can't I? Can't. I 20 seconds. I can't see it. All right. <laughs> Tongue kissing. Okay, what? Another word. French kiss. There you go. Boom. Oh my god. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what is the shit? That's two Dude. points. Oh, it, you know what? <laughs> he can't even feeling, see mine. I have this feeling <laughs> in my gut that Mike has the answers to there, Ryan's. No I, fucking I do not way. have the answers. I don't play like that. He does not know. He can't even see my pictures because of my fucking lighting. <laughs> this is like that game we were playing in. Uh, when were we at the? In, um, when we were in uh, Washington D.C. Yes. Pictionary. There you go. There is All right, no Mark, hold on. Let me get my timer going. <laughs> no way to draw this. There's no way to draw I gotta this. I got I'm going to turn my light down so that you guys can... Hold on. Let me see something real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, is that better? better. That yeah. was the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> that, I looked at that. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> then I saw lips kissing. I was like, all right. Yeah. Tongue uh, kissing. That was perfect. Thank you, PSS. You saw it. This is impossible. Okay. So here we go. Are you ready? Set. Yep. 
Go. Is it a? Is it a? It's a verb, right? Uh, yeah. No pressure. No pressure. Ten seconds down. No pressure. No pressure. Twenty seconds down. Uh, I call Angela to draw for you. Karen says. Didn't I already win? It's not rigged. 32 seconds. All right, Bunny Rabbit with two people in love. <laughs> okay, okay, we're getting close. Two people in love. 40 seconds. You got to, like, guide me a little bit without uh, telling me what it is. What is this? That's a fucking bee. Uh, 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 close. A, a bird. Close. A rat with close. wings. Close. A, squirrel, <laughs> a dragon. Butterfly. Four. B Three. Butterfly, two people in a heart. Two, uh, one. Done. Lovers. Once again, Amy has set me up, but this is a bug. <laughs> with that flies? A this bug. Is supposed, it's supposed to be hugging. These it's two a, are hugging. Bug. Oh, never mind. What does the bug have it's to do? It's a love with bug. Because bug. They're not even hugging. They're you should have done this. Draw with the. How the hell do you draw a pair of hands? <laughs> <laughs> they just say, everybody thinks it's rigged. You, if anybody else would have got that over there. I can't even like draw so. a hugging hand. That looked like a like a I don't know bunny. <laughs> it did look like a flying bunny. Was that a love bug, Mark? On that thing that shouldn't have been there. Was bug it, rhymes with hug. Was it a love bug? No. You should have said this rhymes with maybe. See, I I didn't know I could say that. What's the answer? Hug hugging. hugging. But they're not hugging. I know, but how do you draw? That's why I feel like I'm being. Set Wait a up. minute! You're telling me you drew a bug. That had nothing to do with it? To hug? It rhymes with hug. Bug and hug. And you didn't even say it rhymes with this. I didn't know you could say that. I Dude, we, play, we just talked. Didn't you hear what we just said? We played this game in Washington. Oh, my God. Uh, remember Pictionary? Didn't I just uh, win because I got two or, ideas? None. All right, let's do the third round just for shits and giggles. Mark, get yeah. ready to drink that boot. That whole boot is going to be drunk. The whole thing. Yeah, we might as well do the third one. Maybe uh, this could be a clean sweep. Yep. Let's see if we can. Cause... All right, on your mark, get set, go. Uh, no, I don't even have my thing yet. Start uh, it over. All right, ready? Go. Okay, Hold so on. Mike, this is a song. Okay, ready and go. Go 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 go. You guys cannot draw hugging. There's no way in the world you could draw hugging. So I was trying to think of something to rhyme with hug, bug, two dudes hanging out. Uh, box hearts. Cube. Okay, okay, switch it. Cube oh, hearts. Heart box. Yes, 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 yes. Heart box. Think of a song. Heart box. 30 seconds. Heart. I have no clue. Heart box. 25. Heart. Okay, hold on. 20. I want you to touch You have two me. of the words. 15. There's a word Am missing. Am I in a right order? Heart yeah. box? Yes. Ten, but there's a word missing. Heart box. Eight, seven, six. Heart five, shape box? Four. Yes! And the only reason I said that is because Jeremy Curtis wrote it in chat. Oh, okay. I've never heard of this song. So. Okay, technically, it's Nirvana heart shape box. Technically, you didn't get a point there. Okay, no points. Yeah, I, I saw him you, write it. It's Nirvana he, heart shape box. I don't know. I'm gonna look at this music. like guarantee. It was all what I like, man. Yeah, it was hard. It was hard. I'm, I'm a gangster, bro. It was hard to draw a box that was the that shape gangster of a heart. music. You know, some like Sinatra. Yeah. Alrighty. All right, Mark. All right. Let's see if I'm you ready. can totally. Let's see if you can totally redeem yourself. <laughs> all right. Let it rip. Ready? All right. So I got two so far. Mark, you ready? Yep. Go. Three. Two, one. <laughs> Dude, the, the sound of that's kind of a turn on. Mm -hmm. And the only reason I was looking in chat was because I really didn't know what that song was. So it didn't matter. But for the other stuff, I don't even bother looking in chat. I knew I had no chance with that whatever song you picked. Dude, over Drip Rep, there's no way. I picked the easy ones. He had hugging. How easy is hugging? Hugging is super easy. Here you go. Uh, <laughs> Christmas. Wilma. 
Flintstones. The Flintstones. What is Stones. this? Who is this? Flintstone songs. Nope. Who's this? Is that a crayon next to it? Yep. Yep. What color is the crayon? What color is the crayon? How the fuck would he know what color the, the color is? is black or what no white? What color it's is a white crayon. crayon? What color is the crayon? White. Try again. Black. Yeah, try again. Red. There you go. Now what's this? Red person. We're at a minute. Red seven. woman. I'll give you two minutes. I'll give you two minutes. Red. Red. Uh. Red Wilma. Oh, it's a song. What is red? This? Red rum. <laughs> this. What is this? I just listen to hip hop, man. What is this? I know. I know what the answer that's is. That's a fucking. That's a woman. Red woman. There you go. Red lady. There you go. There you lady go. in red. There you go. I said it in 30 seconds. Yeah, lady, in red. Go. lady in red. What? Who's? Where's? That's the song. Yep. That's the an old song, right? Red. It is an old song. Dude, I, I just said I was gangster. <laughs> that's not gangster music. Amy needs I, to pick some gangster. You should have put some Easy E shit. Right up there, some Ice Cube. Draw an Ice Cube a cup. Ice Cube. So I had to draw Cupid hugging and Lady in Red, which are virtually impossible to draw. <laughs> That's not true. That is not true. <laughs> I was set up. I know what I was set up. Dude, gonna, Mike, I'm you're gonna... really good at this. Thank you. I'm Mark, never... get that boot, bitch. I am never playing this game again. You're going to be up all night pissing. Look at you. Suck that down. Look at all that ice. He has like basically like six ounces. Chug it. Chug the whole thing. I want to see that. To uh, to I want to see the toe kick. It's cold. I can't do the toe kick. Come on. Keep going. Wow, how did you do that? <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, we'll span this out into the time of the show. The show's got four minutes left. Yeah. <laughs> you better hurry up, son. Dude, how the fuck does he drink like two of these things without ice? Dude, he drinks three of them. Wow. Don't touch that mouse. Badland chugs. Ooh, baby. Yep. That's boot, baby. That's boot. Yep. I heard the boot kick. Uh, All right. So this is the deal. Uh, tonight we're going to have some secret squirrels, but there's a little message from my wife. And by the way, huge shout out to the love of my life, my Valentine, my wife, Amy Relish. I love you, and thank you for helping us with the show every week. And uh, also, thanks for game night. Mike loves it. He's a huge fan. And uh, and Mark puts up with it. I uh, hate it. So this is the shout-out for the week. She said, please keep in mind this weekend is Valentine's Day. This is not the only reason we should celebrate love. Love should be celebrated 365 days a year. And for this year, we do get an extra day. Be kind and share love. Also, if you make nasty comments in the vape team group, she's going to fucking ban you. So be nice. There you go. Hell yeah. Old school. The rap is the best. That's right. There's a way to share your opinion, even if you disagree with people in a respectful manner to get your point across. But if you say racist comments or you're a piece of shit and you're a person, the vape team group is not for you. That's all I'm saying. Yep. Here we go. All right, so Secret Squirrels. This one is going to be from Element Vape, but you need to be in the U.S. So this is U.S. only from Element Vape. You also need to um, be an adult. So you're going to need a picture ID showing that you're an adult in the state that you live in. And you need to contact Amy Relish COO at gmail.com. And you need to make sure in the subject line you put Element Giveaway or Element Secret Squirrel. Okay. Element Secret Squirrel. It's going to be a secret. You don't know what you're going to get, but you're going to get something. So you need to contact your name, your address, your telephone number, and a picture ID showing that you're an adult, and you'll enter for your chance to win. And uh, Mark, pick. Uh, let's pick. Uh, let's pick 14 tonight for Valentine's Day. How about that? How, let's big, pick 69 for Valentine's Day. Big 14 inch. Yeah, do 14. 14 or 69. 14. Lady in red is on her uh, She's bleeding on me. Thanks, Mark. That's fucking awesome. Lady. Uh, 14, you said? 14. We got a 13. No 14. Let's try again. Who in here loved uh, KRS-One? I loved KRS-One. KRS-One was the, the best. Yep. The best MC, man. KRS-One. 
Uh, the vaping, winner. Hold on, Mark. Four. Real quick, Mark. Hold Four. on. Vaping Bachelor, two dollars. But Mark is the biggest racist I know. There we go. Thank you, Bachelor. That's it's why he's not allowed in the group. It's only racist if you make it racist. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess, right? Yeah, I guess. Uh, winner is Vapor Dutch. As Eric B and Rock Kim. As in Dutch oven. Vapor Dutch. Congratulations, you just won the Secret Squirrel from Element Vape. And by the way, if you're looking for e-liquid, if you're looking for mods, you're looking for tanks, Element Vape. Why not? It's awesome. Isn't isn't the uh, the Dutch like a sexual technique? It's called the Dutch oven. Dutch oven. Yeah. I guess it's sexual. Follow the leader. A, a Dutch oven's when you go into the covers and you pull the covers up over your partner. You sit on the cover so they can't get out, and you rip inside the the oven. Mm. Look at Mark following the rules. This is cold. Do you feel full? No. Not yet. Gangstar, gangstar, yeah. Congratulations. Biggie. Maybe we'll do Hip Hop Pictionary on another week of the show. That would be pretty funny, right? You know what would be good for this, that show? Uh, Dear Addy. Hip Hop Pictionary? Dear Addy is like... The Hip Hop King? Hip hop, he knows everything about hip hop. Yeah, yeah, he's big hip hop person. Would you like a foot in the ass? Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, man. Public Enemy. Oh, so Mob Deep. Wu Tang. Wu Tang was good. I actually just like Method Man. I liked early Nas, like Method Illmatic. Man. Awesome. Illmatic Gosh. was good. Red Man was good. Method Man. Yeah, I wasn't too into Red Man. I liked Red Man. I liked Red Man when he was. I mean, Nas. he was always a little bit silly, yeah. you know. Lady uh, in uh, red. Is there I, I love the early Roots. I used to listen to a lot of the Roots. They had a live album called "Come Alive." The Roots "Come Alive." That shit was awesome. You remember uh, Special Ed? I like Special Ed. Uh, yes, Dan, almost ready for the international on hit, hit that juice. Almost ready. We're working on it this weekend. We got to actually weigh everything that we have. So this way, it could. Uh... What the hell is he doing? Oh, you know what? Yeah. He's drawing titties. Yeah, we Mark. have to weigh every. Yeah, two live crew. Remember two live crew? Two live crew. Bust the rhymes. Bust the rhymes. The fuck? Show? I love reggae too, man. Shaba, back of the day, Shaba ranks. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. Mark, do me a favor, um, or Mike, Cyprus. grab your grab, grab your battery stand. We have a little. Bacon, we, we have a Valentine's Day like gift. vanilla ice. Of course, you did. Snow. <laughs> yeah, old LL was good too. Yep. Yep. Mark, you're pretty good at drawing dicks. Wow. How could you? It's amazing how amazing he could draw a dick. Yeah, that stuff he could draw, no problem. Yeah. Instead, he drew a fucking Christmas tree person. <laughs> it's like, what the hell is that? Where did the art go? You could draw cocks like nobody's business. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, bachelor, $2. Mark's favorite was Luke Skywalker. Third base. Remember third base? Yep, third base. Yeah, third base was awesome. Wow. Pop goes the weasel and the weasel, weasel goes, goes pop. Um, real Tri-Pol quick. Tripod Quest. Tripod Quest was one of my favorites, man. Q-Tip was awesome. I love Q-Tip. Ice Cube. Yeah, Mystical. Yeah, that was the good old days back then. With the, now it's like, oh. what is that? It, is, Again it, with a Christmas tree person. The vagina. That's not a vagina. It looks like two fucking uh, what's it is called? Is that Fark? That's Fark. <laughs> they look like two centipedes making love. I'm an artist. What can I say? Thank you, Mike. Mark. Uh, Curtis Blow. Nah, I'm not that old, Robbie. Sorry. <laughs> you know who I met? Uh, you probably won't even remember this person. This is way back. DMX. Mike Schooly D. Yeah, Schooly D. Dude, Schooly D. When I was a kid at my dad's office in Center City, Philadelphia, his lawyer was in the building, and he gave me a vinyl Schooly D's album signed by him himself. And when I, nice. I was like six years old, 
Nice. Schooly D. Uh, Beastie Boys. I love the Beastie Boys. Yeah, too. Beastie Boys are the shit. There's a new yeah. documentary coming out about the Beastie Boys. Yep. Who the yep. fuck is Schooly D? Mike, I need you to grab your battery stand. Stand up 3D. So, for all the lovers out there, there's nothing better than having an organized vape layer. And something that'll help you organize your room is with this beautiful battery stand from Stand Up 3D. Stand Up 3D, Stand Up 3D.com. You can get all your battery needs met by these beautiful stands. Or maybe you want a drip tip stand. Maybe you want an Addy stand. Maybe you want an RTA stand. Whatever you need, Stand Up 3D Wait a has it. You still got the package of screws in there? You didn't even use it. Didn't use what? The battery stand. I told you I have to actually. He mount has to it mount somewhere. it. This son of a. I have, I have I have a spot to mount it, but. Can I get through fucking anything without Mark interrupting? Can I? No. Can you show your stand that doesn't have the screws in it? Mine has all the batteries in it. Go, go ahead and show it. it. It's in the next room. I don't want to get up. When we get up, can you get pick? It? Can you pick a winner? I, I have did. I have his other stands right here. I did you pick a? Vape Dutch or Vapor Dutch or whatever. Did you pick a winner for the fucking stand? Oh, we're doing a stand. That's what we're play? doing. Oh, I thought you were just just doing it to do it. All oh. right, here we go. Let me get a number. Give me a number. Oh. Give me a goddamn number. Fourteen. Fourteen again. <laughs> here we go. Brian doesn't care about the higher folks. Only the fourteeners. <laughs> Winner is... You, this is U.S. only, by the way. And you need to contact... K KS. House of Pain. How do we forget House of Pain? KS. Kiss Scrotum. All right, KS. KS, you need to contact Amy Relish, COO at gmail.com with your name, your address, your telephone number, and a picture ID photo of it. Now, why do I need a picture ID if it's a battery holder? <sighs> I gotta be eighteen or twenty one to buy a battery holder. I'm just wondering. I never had to show my ID when I bought battery holders before. I guess you gotta be twenty one to buy batteries nowadays. So much for vaping. I'm going back to smoking. I got time for this shit. Twenty one years old to buy batteries. Is that boot fully finished? Did you eat all the ice? Yep. Yeah, I ain't eating the fucking ice. What are you fucking crazy? Oh, dirty bastard! The boot is gone, son. Tone Loke. Tone Loke only had one good song. Maybe we could have like a full hip hop show. Uh, yeah, I don't really do hip hop, so I don't think I. Can you know what I like? Uh, what's in House of Pain? Uh, his name is uh Whitey Ford, right? Whitey Ford, yeah. I like the albums, the newest ones. Do you? Yeah. Where it's not House of Pain. No, like Whitey Ford. They're well, they're not new shit. Well, not new, but uh, yeah. his newest. The, ones. the newer shit, yeah. Where it's more of uh, like the blues, like country rapping, blues, a little hip hop, rapping with the rap with the blues. Yeah. I love that shit. Oh. I actually got them uh, on my phone. Music I played in the car. Sir Mixer, <laughs> Two Live Crew, the Ghetto Boys. Uh. Stevie B, yeah, soon, very soon. Uh, I was actually talking about it. We're working on it this weekend. We have to actually weigh every product that we have. So this way, when it does the international shipping, for the shipping rates, it goes by weight and all that. So we're working on it this weekend. We got all the liquids done. Now we just got to get all the other stuff done. So this way, and then international will be ready. Uh, sign up on uh, Hit That Juice, Everlast. There you go. Magic Josh says that Everlast is a homo. He's married with kids. I'm a, I'm a homo. But anyway, sign up on Hit That Juice so you get the alert if you're outside the states. When will be uh, available to ship? Warp, warp porn done? I, I just put him in timeout. I couldn't take it. I'm sorry. Uh, ship to Dubai, Mike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's, a fucking, he's a fucking idiot. Rob Mason, DJ Z Rock. MC Hammer. Dude, that was my wedding song, Mike. Da -na -na -na, da -na -na -na. Can't touch this. That was my wedding song, uh, It Takes Two. Yep. Oh, yeah. From the roller skating rink days. Oh, shit. Nice. 
Yep. Pump up the volume, pump up the volume, pump up the volume. Dance, I'm gonna dance. let I'm gonna let him back in, but <laughs> oh, here, we here we go. Oh hey, you're back. Sorry. <laughs> Are you done acting like a little child? I was drawing pictures. I know what the fuck you were drawing, you idiot. Oh, God. Shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised a lot of people haven't heard of Special Ed. I have not heard of that person. Do you, know, was, what, uh, you, you, Ed. you know Young MC? He had that song, Bust a Move. It was like a mainstream shitty song, but I remember in eighth grade, I did oh. like a talent show for middle school, and I lip synced "Bust a Move." Wasn't he the guy with the dead eye? I think so. No, that was uh. Oh, Snoop Doggy Dog, man! Come on, Gin and Juice. I who that was. Oh, Gin and Juice. Oh, yeah, maybe. Dude, Gin and Juice was awesome because I used to drive Gin and Juice, drinking it and listening to it. Oh, I shouldn't be saying that out loud. Nope. My bad. That was years ago. Of course. Years ago. Years ago. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh. Megadeth Metallica. Thank you, uh, Aussie. Metallica. That's Shit. one of my favorite songs is uh, Metallica 1. That's a good song. I love it. Uh, uh, one is the uh, best. Yep. Chris Cross. Didn't one of the dudes die uh, yeah. not too long ago? One of them died. Yeah, one of them died. I used to be really big when I was a kid. Uh, another bad creation. I'm the Magnificent. That's I right, Ronald. Love them. <clears throat> TLC. <laughs> Ooh. One of those chicks are dead, too, I think. Right? Slick Rick. Slick Rick? Slick Rick was awesome, man. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Dude, Slick Rick was an innovator, man. Yeah, he was awesome. The Daddy Kane. All right, guys. It's 11-11. Uh, We're nice. done. Valentine's Day show of the Vape Team is finished. Thank you all for watching. Anything else, gentlemen? Nice, baby. Stop. Collaborate. And Thanks for watching, it. everybody. We will see you same vape time, same vape channel next week for the throwback show on the vape Suck on my dick before I start Valentine's fist and dance. <laughs> dance on this dick. Uh -huh. I can't think of any more rhymes. 20-minute outro begins man. now. Stop. Collaborate and listen. Suck my dick before I start pitsing. Dance on the. I, I was never. In there. Damn it. Dun 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 dun. Y'all better put respect on E40 name in this chat. What the hell is that? About? There's a lot of people that make no sense in here. Who the hell is E40? It's so hard to say goodbye. About uh, some of the Yorkers guys. Puff, Puff Daddy, huh? Puff Daddy. P. Diddy in the family. Puff Daddy. Uh, the about, other one, what's his oh. name? One of the owners of the Nets. Two Live Crew. Puff that Pussy. Hey! <laughs> God, I can't remember his name now. He's like the, one of the richest uh, rappers. He's married to Beyonce. Oh, Jay Z. Jay -Z. Yeah, Jay Z. Jay Z. I don't have enough girth on my penis to pop pussy. Like, I can't make the popping sound. It's more like a hollow sound. But... Pretty sad. Pop that motherfucking pussy! Pop that pussy! Pop! 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 Pop!